Hey, this is Dorian Day, and welcome to Serum in Depth number 18. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make uh, the Sur Vimber Audio Surge wavetables compatible with Serum. Now, this came about because someone asked how to do this on the X for forums. So, blah, 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 in the midst of copying wavetables from Serum, I've hit a brick wall. Steve Duda says, the importer or WT files are undocumented, uh, not sure about the header size, yada, yada, yada. So I went about trying to see if there was a way to solve this. Um, I Googled around and I found some information on the header. So at least of as of Surge 1.5, we had a three byte um, wave T information, uh, four to seven bytes of telling the size of the wave, eight to nine, the number of waves, 10 to 11, a flag, and then 12 to end is the actual wave data. Now I tried opening up the file in a hex editor and deleting the first 11 bytes and then opening it in Audacity and blah, 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 and all kinds of things. And none of that really worked. Um, what worked the most reliably is that Audacity can import raw data. So what do we do? Well, it's pretty much as simple as going to your surge folder, which is on Mac forward slash library application support Vimber audio surge. Then you have your wavetables. Uh, here they all are WT files. Um, I copied some of these to my desktop right here. And so what do we do? File, we go into audacity, file, import raw data, desktop, surge, DX base. I didn't bother trying to put any of this information in because it popped right up. Um, so if we zoom in, it seems like a pretty well-formed wave. What is this? This is that information right there, that nonsense, I'm pretty sure is um, the first 11 bits, the junk data. So just grab it and delete it. Now go to the end. And you'll see that we have 8064 samples right here in the bottom. Bust out a calculator. Now we have to see what frame size divides this. 8064, is that 2048? Nope. Is it 1024? Nope. Is it 512? Nope. 256? No. Is it 128? Yep, there are 63 frames or frames at 128 samples each in this sound file. Now, if I go into the formula section, and I type in 128, bring up my finder, flip over to my other monitor, then drag in ah file export audacity file first. So I'm just saving this as a wave. Save. Okay. Showed up over here. Now I'm going to drag it into Serum. And let's hear what it sounds like. I'm not really sure what that one originally sounded like because I'm not really a Vimber surge user, but hopefully that's correct. I'll do it one more time with a waveform everyone knows. So, wave tables, basic. I'll grab. I guess I'll do sign to sawtooth, put on the desktop or inside our search folder, open up audacity, file new, file import raw data, sign to sawtooth, zoom in, there's the junk that we didn't skip, delete that, go to the end. And 
here we have 8063, which is roughly 8064. Again, another 128 frame file. Export, sign to Sawtooth. Go into Serum, drag it in. That sounds awesome. So I'm going to try one more thing. I don't think it's going to work. But now that I have 128 typed in, I'm just going to drag in a wavetable. Nope, doesn't work. So, um, well, hopefully with this information that I showed right here, maybe Steve Duda can fix the WT import. He does mention that there are several WT files, so who knows? But anyways, this is how you do it. Um, just grab all those files from your surge directory, import them in Audacity as raw, delete that little piece of junk at the beginning, export them as waves, and I don't know, the two I've tried have been 128 samples, but you can look at some of my previous videos to find out using Audacity how many samples, um, how to split your wave tables up. We showed briefly how to do it in this video, but there's some more information so that you always get it right. Thanks.